Hello, we're going to take a look at your undo and your redo options. When you take a look at your quick access toolbar, you'll notice that you have your two arrows as default tools on that quick access toolbar. So you'll notice that you have your undo arrow and your redo arrow. We're going to go ahead and highlight the first word within our actual document. And I'm going to bold this word so that we can see it in larger font or in a brighter font. When I do this, if I decide that I don't like proposal in bold, I can use my undo arrow and you'll notice that now that selection is no longer in bold. If I decide that, you know what, that should be in bold, I can use that redo arrow and you'll notice that now proposal has popped up in bold again. Keep in mind that if no undos have been made, then you can use your redo button as a repeat option or that repeat button option. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and highlight introduction. And again, this time, we'll do this in an underline. So I can use my shortcut tips on my keyboard in order to do the exact same functions that I used with my arrows. So now that I have it in underline, if I want to undo it, I can use my control and Z, and you'll notice that the underline has disappeared under the words introduction. If I use my control plus my Y, you'll notice that the underline reappears. So you have your control Z, for your undo, you have your control Y as your redo. If I use my control Z to remove that underline, I can also use my F4 key as a repeat function option. So that F4 key on your keyboard is yet another way that you can repeat something that you may have undone in your last step. Keep in mind for your undo and your redos, it tops out at about 25 times, so you can undo each thing step by step, one at a time, until you max out at 25 undos or redos, or if you happen to save in between. 